Daniel 7, verse 5 says, And there before me was a second beast, which looked like a bear. It was raised up on one of its sides, and it had three ribs in its mouth between its teeth. It was told, Get up and eat your fill of flesh. We continue to study the four beasts. And the second of those beasts was like a bear. And this, in historical times, it was proved that it depicted the Persian monarchy, which was less strong and generous than the Chaldeans. But we are told that the bear raised itself on one side against the lion, depicting that this particular kingdom was able to pull itself from the challenge and rise to become a great dominion of the Persians and the Medians. The most interesting part of this scripture that I'd like us to share this evening is that we are told that this bear had three ribs within its mouth between the teeth. The Persian monarchy is known to have devoured anything that came its way. It was able to destroy and captivate or capture all these kingdoms that were around them. Despite that, we are told that there are three ribs in the mouth between the teeth, depicting the remains of the nations that had been devoured. Praise the Lord. So, though it had devoured much, it could not devour all. And some ribs stuck in the teeth of it, which it could not conquer. My brother, my sister, what hope is the Lord giving us this morning? That in the midst of such difficult times that the Jewish community was facing, being tossed back and forth, Remember that these young men, uh, Daniel and his three friends, were taken when they were very young, completely taken to a new land. And they were moved now from the children's rulership of Nebuchadnezzar to a new king who was even more dangerous, who was actually uh, devouring them, eating off their flesh and almost completely destroying them. But the word tells us that between its mouth there were three ribs. My brother, my sister, so trouble may come and devour us and seem to destroy us from every end. The word of God is reminding us there shall be a remnant. Praise the Lord. And out of this remnant, you're going to see the rising of the kingdom of God. And that's why you and I today are able to stand and profess that Jesus is Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, 